Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many Django developers encounter when deploying their applications. Our viewer has been working hard to implement Django channels for WebSocket support in their app, but they're facing some hurdles with deployment on Elastic Beanstalk. To give you a bit more context, our viewer has successfully set up their Django project locally using Daphne and Redis, but they're struggling to replicate that success in the Elastic Beanstalk environment. They've tried using Supervisor to manage their processes, but it just isn't starting up correctly. Let's dive into the specifics of their setup and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To deploy Django channels to an Elastic Beanstalk environment, we need to ensure that our application can run the necessary components like Daphne and Redis. First, Let's review the configuration for the channel's backend. Next, we need to set up Supervisor to manage our processes. This includes Redis, Daphne, and the worker processes. Here's how the Supervisor configuration looks. Now let's focus on the start supervisor.sh script. This script sets up a Python 2 virtual environment to run Supervisor, which is crucial for our deployment. After configuring Supervisor, we need to ensure that our Redis and Daphne services start correctly. The start scripts for Redis and Daphne should activate the Python 3 virtual environment. Finally, if you encounter issues with supervisor not starting processes, check the logs for any errors. You can use the command supervisor ctl status to monitor the process states. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To deploy Django channels on Elastic Beanstalk, I made some key adjustments. First, I removed Redis from Supervisor and opted for an Elasticache Redis instance instead. Next, I created a custom start script for Supervisor in the .eb extensions configuration. This was crucial because the default scripts don't persist after deployment. I also set up scripts for Daphne and Django workers to ensure they stay alive during deployment. This involved activating the virtual environment correctly. Finally, I updated the supervisor configuration to manage logging and process settings effectively, ensuring everything runs smoothly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To debug your Django channel's deployment on Elastic Beanstalk, start by checking your logs. Ensure the log line is included in the main supervisor config file. Set the log file and log level in the supervisor config to capture errors. This will help you identify issues.
For each program in your supervisor config, add specific log error settings to capture state out and state error. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To deploy Django channels to an Elastic Beanstalk Python 3.4 environment, the user has created a detailed guide. You can find the link to this comprehensive document in the description. The user explains that the guide is lengthy and includes many images, which is why they chose to share a link instead of typing everything out here. And that's it guys. We've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.